Hi guys, Mr. BP teacher here with another tutorial for you. Today's tutorial is going to be about the Ubersense app. It is in my sports folder, just located here on my iPad, full of apps. This is an app that I'm sure you've heard me tweet about a lot and say a lot about my blog, so I use it all the time for a bit of performance analysis. And there's a good reason for that. It's simplicity and the students absolutely love being able to see themselves perform. Okay, this is the first screen you have dealt with when you open the app up. Okay, it's been a bit of an update recently, so it looks a lot more professional, a lot more easy to use. The big red button in the middle of the screen, if you tap that, you can either take a new video, it'll take you straight to your camera, or you can go into your camera roll, it's just there as well. Okay, you can see everything you need to see and access all your videos. We'll come to that in a second. Okay, so first of all, all the videos you've previously done, okay, you've got loads of different people tags here, loads of different ideas and loads of different examples of what you can do in Ubersense. So I'll just show you one now. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna find the video. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll click the uh, big red button again, open up the uh, splash page, go on the library, and I'll look for a video. We'll find one of me doing a skill. We'll see if it's any good. Okay, it's just currently loading up. Just gonna wait for that to load up. Okay, the app actually uses anything from your camera roll. So if you record in any other app such as Slow Pro or anything like that, you can access these videos for analysis as well. When you've uploaded the video, it offers you a few ideas. Okay, so it says, what technique is this? The technique is lofted pass. We've got it written down already, but I'll just type it again just for a quick bit. Okay, I've passed it, it gives you options to set who it is. So for example, say you have your class list in there, that you can say whoever you want it to say, but it is me, I'm doing the skill, so I'll tick it's me. Right, it'll then optimize our video for slow-mo. The reason it does this, it goes down all the way to an eighth of the speed of what you shot the video at. The video we're about to watch was shot using the Slow Pro app, so it actually will be a bit slower than probably the 8 for speed that most of you will experience if you shoot straight from this app. Once you've got your video uploaded, it's all uh, got yourself ready. This is the page you're, uh, you're going to see. There are quite a few options around, so I'll go around them in order. The big red microphone at the top, that is one of the most useful tools about this app. If you click that, it will record everything you say, and as you're doing it with students, you can have a good discussion and good verbal feedback as well as physical and visual on the iPad. Okay, going around in clockwise order, the compare button. We'll come to that in a second, that's quite a key feature. The pen, if you click on the pen, okay, you've got loads of different options. You've got circle, line, that gives you a ruler or a line. You've got an angle, you've got a free draw, and you've got a bin, and to close up. All of these options, except the bin, have got the option to be red, yellow, or white. So if you have multiple lines on your screen, you can use any of these lines. Just coming down a little bit, if you've got the scrubbing feature, this is allows you to scrub through your video. Okay, as you can see the video slide at the bottom moving on the screen. Okay, as you just scrub through, that'll be very accurate with what you're doing. The next bit of the video is just down at the bottom right, you see it changed to an eighth, a quarter, half, or back to normal speed it was shot at. That is what the video will look like when you shoot it, okay? That is a great tool for slowing down performance actually looking. Next, you've got the video slider. Okay, it lets you skip through the video at pace, find a point to start with, which is what we'll do now for you. We'll find a bit before I perform the skill. Okay, just about here will be perfect, I think. Okay, and this is what the skill's gonna look like. Obviously, you've got your play button as well. So we'll watch the skill through. Okay, it's a lofted pass. We'll see how it goes. This is in normal time. Okay, it looks very quick. And don't know why it does that quick, but that's what the skill looks like. So we'll slow it down for you. We'll go for a quarter of the speed, I think, so far. We'll try a quarter of the speed, see how it looks like now. Okay, you can see it's a lot slower now just by turning a quarter of the speed on and a lot easier to see the skill in isolation. What I tend to do now is use the scrubbing feature and just slow it right back down. Okay, I've gone forward, then I need to come backwards. Okay, slow it right down to a point where I actually want to talk to the student about. And this could be my point here. The first thing I want to talk about, I'll get my pen feature out now. I'll get my circle out. I'll do yellow to contrast my boots and the ball. Okay, and I'll make a nice big circle. You saw how easy it was to draw that on the screen, okay? And what I'm going to say to him here is I'll say, why have I drink I highlight this bit? What key skill, okay, what key teaching point are you showing me here? And they might say to me all sorts of ideas. However, what I assume they would say is this way you put your non-dominant foot, your non-kicking foot, it goes next to the ball. And as you can see in the video, if we scroll back a little bit, that is placed right next to the ball and quite easy to see, okay? If you want to delete a line, all you do is, like I said before, you click on the bin, you click the X, it gets rid of that. So we've seen that. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is the journey of the ball. Okay, so we'll go back to our lines again, and we'll look, we'll say, we'll take a free draw line, and we're thinking our foot should come through this sort of line as the kick is made, okay? 
that's the sort of line we're looking for our foot to come in and go under the ball. So we'll just actually scrub that line out because it's a bit too high actually for the person's demonstration. Get a line again. We want to go under the ball just there and we want to come through it. And that's the sort of line our foot should take. We're looking for our foot's take. We'll stay at a quarter speed for now and we'll see how that goes. Okay, our foot actually goes a bit above that line. We can see if we scrub backwards again. Okay, if we scrub back through the shot. Okay, we can see our foot goes just above that line. Okay, so it's not the best technique in the world. I am using my non-dominant foot for this exercise to show the students how you can kick your non-dominant foot. I'm not making excuses though, don't worry. If you're starting to get a bit of a feel for the app, a great feature you can do in this is compare videos. So I've found, I've already got a video of me doing a lofted pass on my right foot. So all I'll do is i click on that. Okay, it gives me two options. I'll select the second, and it's going to be me kicking my non-dominant foot on my right-hand side. Okay, so we'll just speed these videos up. We'll find the cue point for this first one. We'll just get it right for us. Okay, just rewind that slightly. Rewind this one slightly. Okay, what we want to do, we want to clear what's been dead already because that's in our way currently. And you can now watch the videos side by side. They won't be in sync perfectly yet because we haven't lined them up. Okay, so we'll just see the two skills on the screen currently. The right will go first and then the left foot will come next. Okay, we've seen slightly different techniques there. Just right, just get that red one back, the uh, right one back there for us. And the left one just here. Okay, what we want to do is we want to get just before the point of impact. So that's perfect for the left. For the right, just looking at it, just scrub through again. Use the scrubbing feature on the side. Okay, perfect. What we can do now is we can overlay the videos by touching the top button in the right hand corner with the two squares over the top. If we do that. It will overlay the two videos. You can see the balls are slightly out of sync. Okay, but don't worry about that for now. What we're going to do, we're going to put a quarter speed. Okay, and hopefully our feet meet the ball at similar times. Okay, perfect demonstration there. We can see if we just scrub backwards with both films. Okay, so we can get a nice angle again on both. Just before we come into the shot. So both footballs are there. So the top one representing the left foot. Uh, sorry, the, the top one representing the right foot and the bottom one representing the left foot currently. So we're on a quarter speed again, so what we do, play them, okay, this one's slightly quicker, so we'll just play it slightly, okay, you can see where my feet land for the ball, okay, so like I said, so we can again get our circle out, get our transition out, what we say is, in both examples, my foot is in that sort of zone that we're looking at, just about here, okay, that's the sort of zone, probably a bit far over that, that's the sort of zone we're looking for, okay, looking for that zone of the dominant, the uh, non-kicking foot, in that zone just there okay so next to the ball we can all see that for our eyes okay so as you play the video see how my feet land in there and I come through on the ball I've got a slightly different follow-through technique on both feet which can be reviewed quite easily by the teacher or by the student respectively okay we'll just far rewind those videos quickly just so we can both look at them again okay another good feature you can do is when you're in this compare mode okay you can put one if you think that you need to look slightly more at the left or slightly more at the right you can just fade in and out as you need to, okay? It's another great feature about it. There are so many options to do. Like I said, you can compare skills. You can compare the perfect model against the non-perfect model. But obviously it requires you to be able to shoot quite cleverly and actually use a good feedback of your students. Like I said, one of the, my favorite bits about this and one of my favorite buttons is the record button to compare students, okay, to get verbal feedback. And actually done that. So once we've done a review, a proper review, we've looked at it all, we've written on this, written anything on the screen, Highlighted the ideas, highlight the angles of our foot should come in. Okay, it's quite easy to just play the videos again. We can see the two different skills. Okay, you see both footballs go in, different techniques. And when we're happy with that, we come back out of that. Okay, you can record the students talking. Like I said, if you just click the microphone button, anything they say will be recorded. Once that's done, it will say saving for review, which is fantastic for us. And then gives you a load of options. Okay, so once it's saved for review, it says share with me, which obviously is myself. It can you can email it to students directly. Okay, share with someone else. For example, if you have, if you have other students who actually, um, if you have emails of students or emails of other teachers you want to show something to, okay, you can actually use it like that. Uh, you can save it online at ubersense.com. They actually have an upload site, okay, and you can host some of your files there. I don't tend to use it as much because I've got a lot of Dropbox storage. Come to in a second. Share on Facebook. Obviously, that's not very professional stuff like this. I wouldn't recommend that. Post to YouTube, again, there's a lot of data protection acts there, okay? So I wouldn't recommend that unless it's something I'm not showing any students' face or anything. So a video like this, you might be able to do. Okay, place on Dropbox, this is potentially what I use a lot. So if I make a high quality video like this, okay, and I get a good review, I use it on Dropbox a lot. Okay, place it into Dropbox, I can get it up on my Mac or up on any other device I want. 
and show it to the student, get up on the projector, show students like that, and obviously save the camera roll so you can view it yourself later on. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them at the blog, which is www.mrbpeteacher.weebly.com. Please visit, comment, rate, subscribe, and chat to you soon. Cheers. Bye.